hello guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here you are welcome and if you've been here with us for the longest time thank you for sticking around till date if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so please i am begging and if you want to see how i created this igbo brider makeup look then you keep on watching in this video guys you might not get to um hear any um background uh, audio so i've been having issue with this lately and it's crazy so sorry bear with me so i've cleansed her face with um, micellar water the first thing i'm going to apply on her face here now is um the serum and this serum is from fbh so yeah i'm just basically applying this on her face for hydration yeah so after that i am going to use my fan to dry that down before i apply any other uh, product on the skin so the next thing that i'm going to be applying on the skin is a moisturizer and this one is from fbh as well is their um vitamin c uh moisturizer it has spf as you can see it's written on it it has fbs in it so your face your skin is protected even if you go under the sun okay yeah so the moisturizer is for moisture you want your skin to be well moisturized before you apply any makeup product yeah you want your makeup to come out really really um soft looking and you know yeah so i also went ahead to use the fan again to dry the moisturizer down before i, I apply um the primer but sorry there is no primer in this video <laughs> so guys so here i'm using the fan again like i said no audio so i might be singing for you guys <laughs> so here these are the two foundations I'm going to be um, mixing together to get her shade. Um, this one is also from FBH, but I mixed it with the Beauty by AD uh, foundation, foundation, but I can't remember the shade that I used to, that I mixed with this uh, FBH foundation. So the consistency is beautiful and I think I like how it blended. So here I'm going to spray this setting spray from FBH as well. Like I said, they sent so some of their products for us to try. And uh, to be honest, uh, I was in love. I'm impressed with what um, the products really did on the skin of my model. <laughs> so blending is so smooth, like seamless. Like it's not difficult to blend at all. I like it. And it's not that dry it's not dry it's not dewy i think it's just in the middle it's beautiful uh, to be honest um even this light uh, sorry the um, the camera is not even doing justice to how beautiful the foundation is to be honest just that i think it has like olive i think the undertone is olive mm, if you look very well you will see it but with after um after my contour and highlight everything just came together yeah so blend 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 don't forget your jaw line so it won't look like the person is wearing a face mask so the concealer that i'm using to highlight here is from younger beauty i think it's the lightest shade in their in that concealer collection yeah i think it's the lightest shade then I apply a tiny bit of the um, of another concealer, but very close to her shade, just to tone down the concealer that I applied for her light. So always blend. Blending is key if you want a flawless um, application. So I went back to the concealer again. You guys know if you've used the younger beauty concealer you know is lightweight it's not that full so i went i you can build it up so and then the another thing i would advise is when you apply it leave it like few seconds i know it's dry but just leave, leave, leave it for like few seconds before you 
blend. I know you should leave for, for, for a very long time. Oh, hey. Leave it for a few seconds before you blend. That way you get the coverage you want. So for setting powder, I think this is Aro CMA. I'm just tapping it and blending out the excess. Tap, tap and blend out the excess. Yep. So I will be talking and talking to the end of this video you guys i'm so sorry because i don't want to have that issue of you know them flank uh, flanging flagging my uh videos again uh till my, the last video i posted is actually flagged it's, i do not know what to do that's why for a long time now i've not really filmed because i've not really figured out what to do you know concerning the issue of copyright and all of that um, when i figured that out I'll start disturbing you guys with audio, background audio. So yeah, I'm basically setting the areas I highlighted, as you can see. Oh, um, I've been talking non-stop. It's not easy. It's not easy. Okay, it's because I don't want to bore you guys with, you know, that's why I'm still talking. Or should I just keep quiet small so you guys can focus? <laughs> okay. Let me just keep quiet for some minutes. Okay, I'm back. So, for the eyeshadow, we are going to be using Girl About Town from 89 Cosmetic. Cosmetics. You know 89 Cosmetics, right? The lip gloss mama. <laughs> she came out... Uh, with uh, this eyeshadow palette that we all love so much i don't know about you but me and the students that i've trained since last year till now they love it like it's so pigmented that as you can see it's so so pigment pigmented so i took the color like i just showed you guys now the first color just blend that all over the eyes the crease then I went ahead to soften it using those two shades, like, you know, blend out the color, like so. So, with another brush, this brush is from Vika Bell. Yeah, it's from Vika Bell. So, yeah, I used the two shades to blend out the first one that I applied. So, moving on, I went to take the shade right there. That brown is it i don't know why it's not looking dark in the video it's actually a dark brown uh, shade so i'm just trying to curve you know i want her to have that like, cut look you know i don't know how to explain it but i like doing this thing just make the my eyeshadow game look different lately so yeah after that i also applied the that same color the dark brown in the tear i'm sorry in the inner corner of the eye like so then before going in with the color and i applied that on her lid the pigment the pigment you guys as you can see there is no eye primer no eyeshadow primer whatsoever so can you see you need to get yours yes they don't pay me to do this advert but i need to show you guys good thing so I'm taking that black to just apply it on her V, outer V, and then I blend out. This brush is from Colorbox. Eh? Yeah, Colorbox. Is it Colorbox? Yes. On Instagram, in case you want to get uh, some of their brushes. The eye brushes are really nice, to be honest. So you can go get yours from them. I think they're in Ghana, but they, can, they do um, deliver to Nigeria, anywhere in the world. Yeah. <laughs> so, this is me trying to blend that black out. It was so difficult for me to blend. Her eye, at that corner is really deep. If you understand this kind of eyes, it's really deep. And I, my brush was just messing up. <laughs> so, yeah. So I was unable to do that and moving on to eyebrows, right? Yeah. 
okay before i but let me show you guys this trick that i normally do so the the powder that i use to contour i apply it on the corner that area you're seeing where i'm blending it, it makes makes your nose contour looks um better if that makes sense so that's a trick go and try it and thank me later so for eyebrow i have been preaching i've been sorry i've been promising that i would do a detailed tutorial for eyebrow tutorial for you guys but i do not know why i have been so lazy to do that but i promise you i promise i think it should be the next thing i do after posting the two videos i have <laughs> then nepa said what are you still doing in the studio and they took light <laughs> okay they are back and um for the eyebrow i am not going to do too much here like, i'm not going to show you guys too much because i'm not going to do too much it has she has brows like hair see eyebrow is nice so what i did here basically is just feeling you see i just fill in the areas i feel like is light and needs structure i just structure it and do the regular stroking then tame the eyebrow then i used a concealer to highlight it let me keep quiet for you guys to watch <laughs> um let me sell my market let me see my market <laughs> so i do buy that hairstyling now like this one on the bright um <laughs> on the model i did it so it's my side hustle if you want my services you can contact me on instagram um my handle is slay by sonia okay thank you the eyebrow was done but you know over sabi i'm a perfectionist i was just trying to make sure every part of the eyebrow is is popping <laughs> so i said to go to the top part and clean it with some concealer and also blend the concealer out with a fluffy brush and we were done with the eyebrows mm. okay i smudged her eyes but we couldn't record that for long because she said a light was entering her eyes and we had to turn it off so here is me applying um um like what is it called it's a is this um nyx said it's the jumbo pencil yeah the regular eyeshadow base that you all know the white one so it's serving as my white liner here and she's about to tear up and i had to stop and here is the finished look of the application <laughs> so for lips i am going to show you tiny bit here because i am going to post the lip separately because it's really long uh, the video of this lip is really long and i do not want to just add it to this video so it will not be too long i do not want to bore you people with long videos this year okay so if you want to see um if you want me to post the lip um video do let me know in the comment section but if you don't want to see it i will not post it <laughs> okay guys she has a very nice um lip shape um lip shape not lip shapes oh my god so i am just following her lip structure not doing too much and uh let me keep quiet again for you guys to just watch
moving forward i'm just buffing out the certain powder that i use as it should to catch any fallout from the eyeshadow application yeah so i'm gonna seal the makeup with this sweat block from fbh i love the packaging anyway it's so cute the bottle is fine so after spraying the using the setting spray rather i quickly i quickly use my fan to dry down the setting spray so that the it will not affect the eyeshadow especially because i did not use um what is it called um eyeshadow base so yeah so for highlighter for glow for glow i'm using this i don't know i can't remember the name this um flakes from um 89 cosmetic i can't remember the shade but i think this is the lightest shade yeah so see this you see this i don't know why i have not been using this highlighter for my brides because this thing is i don't know how to explain it but you guys can see what is what how it, how it's just blending in it's white sorry in case you don't know but it blends into the skin giving that glow that you want that the face need <laughs> <laughs> i know you get what i'm trying to say but why have, have i been oh, okay now i know now i've shared it with you guys you guys will go and try it out right because it is really nice please do not use too much a little goes a long way so the face is coming together already Ooh, so beautiful by the way um my videos i do not edit my youtube video in case so this is a raw clip a raw video without editing when i mean without editing i don't add color i don't do all of that but until i learn how to do that i do not know how to is it um color grade yes i do not know how to color grade so till then let's enjoy our raw videos so this mascara is also from 89 cosmetic this is fire when i mean fire can you see how it's picking the the hairs like it gives the hair the lashes volume see that oh can you see that yeah so that's what we're talking about um i'll quickly do the top parts and also um fix the lashes so that we can be done with this look so if you live in asaba or close to asaba and you are interested in training with us our next makeup training is starting on the 24th of april 2023 you can send us a dm on instagram at source of 24 or call the numbers on the flyers for more inquiries thank you The struggle of fixing lashes on a coily natural lashes hmm. it's crazy but at the end of the day we always come out in flying colors <laughs> so guys this is the final look tell me you don't love this look tell me you don't love this makeup on this model just tell me so why haven't you booked me why haven't i touched your face <laughs> so guys do let me know what video you want to see next on my channel and i will gladly film it for you guys thank you guys for always sharing my video for always coming back to watch my video and to my subscribers i really appreciate you guys i'm grateful till i see you guys in my next video bye